You know, I think one of the biggest struggles that most alcoholics have in obtaining sobriety or sustainable sobriety is simple fear. Fear of facing one's own problems. Fear of facing the reasons why you started to drink with to begin with. Fear of going to a rehab facility. Fear of facing friends and family and the reality of what you've become or the actions that you've taken. Fear is a very real commodity that stops people, stops alcoholics in their tracks from getting help they need. So it's very important for family members to recognize when they have an issue and assist them and push them a little bit to face their fears. You know, one of the biggest fears that alcoholics have to overcome is fear of their own identity, fear of facing that identity that, hey, maybe they're the guy or the woman who drinks a 12 pack a night or drinks a bottle of wine every night. That's who they are. That's who their comfort zone. That's where they, that's, that's their level of comfort. To change that, to go in a different direction, to be called out for those kinds of actions by family members, I mean, that, that's a very uncomfortable thing to have to go through. The fear of changing that, the fear of having to go to a rehab facility or go to an AA meeting, something that they're not comfortable with, something that's foreign to what they would think that they'd have to do with their life. And, you know, admitting that they have a problem. This is another big fear. All of these will contribute to the reason why someone stays in the same place for long periods of time. Years, in fact. Fear of change is one of the most difficult emotions for all human beings to, to overcome. Fearing doing something different, becoming something different. Now, it's especially complicated when you're an alcoholic, when you're chemically, emotionally, and physically dependent on alcohol. It's not more than fear, it's terror, because you're gonna take away something that you're addicted to, mentally and physically. This is why alcoholics stay in that holding pattern for so long and for so many years. And unfortunately, in a lot of cases with alcoholics, that fear will manifest in lashing out towards loved ones who are trying to help them. Maybe they're intervening or they're, they're you know, grinding on them for some reason for not drinking and they're sitting them down and trying to have serious conversations. And that fear from the alcoholic is displayed by pushing them away, saying they're not gonna change. It's, not, it's more than denial at that point. They're in fear because they've been called out and that's something that's almost impossible to ever change. Now the whole point of this video is if you're, you are an alcoholic or you have a family member who is an alcoholic, you have to understand everything that you want is on the other side of fear. So you have to face those fears, you have to face your identity, you have to face being called out and you have to find help. And again, when you're ready for that, links are in the bio. I felt thousands of alcoholics. I felt also helped their families. Uh, you know, set up a breakthrough call. Let's get your family to sustainable sobriety. And again, I have a, a Facebook group called Amanda, a cautionary tale of alcoholism. You know, come join us. You know, the movement is growing by leaps and bounds every day. And again, thanks for listening.